What do you do when automation breaks? That's what we're talking about today. Hi, this is Frank Buck, and this is the place to be if you want to get organized, make it look easy. I'm a fan of automation. It performs repetitive tasks for us, but there are times it can break. And today we'll talk about two very helpful automations, what happened and how I'm fixing them. I'm doing this episode in case you use the same automations or want to start using them. First, I have a very important Evernote note called Frank's Journal. It's a log of things that happen during the day, calendar events that happen during the day, and a record of calendar events that I add for future days. The automation happens through a service called If This, Then That. If I send a text message to myself, then append that message to Frank's journal, date and time stamp. If you like this idea, I did an entire post with video demonstrating it. It's called How to Journal with Your Voice Using Evernote. It's located at frankbuck.org slash journal dash with dash voice. I encourage you to go over and watch that video. I have two other applets. One that says, if I add to my Google Calendar, then append it to Frank's journal. And another that says, if an event is starting on my Google Calendar, then append that information to Frank's journal. So in one place, I have a date and time stamped snapshot of the day, including events that happen, events that I scheduled, and little happenings during the day. Well, surprise number one came when it just quit working. All right, let's move on and talk about task clone. Let's say that you're in a meeting and you've opened a note in Evernote to take notes. It's a very common thing. And during the course of the meeting, you start thinking about some to-dos. Well, the thing that you really want to do here is put those tasks, those to-dos right there in the body of the note. You don't want to go in and out of a task manager to do that. Just put it right all there in the body of the note and put a checkbox in front of the things that are tasked to let you know what are things that require action rather than things that are just simply documentation from the meeting. And then later in the day, review your notes. At that point, copy those to-dos and paste them in your digital task manager. Now, that was my routine before 2013. But if you have task clone, that process happens automatically. You put a checkbox in front of anything that's going to be a task. And then I, I can add attributes to the task, such as the, the due date, the priority, a tag. And then I tag that note, task clone. Task clone looks for notes with that task clone tag. It looks for tasks within those notes, the things that have the checkbox in front of them. And then it inserts those tasks into your digital task manager of choice. Remember the milk for me. And it includes a link back to the Evernote note. So when you start to do the task, you have a link back to the Evernote information. Once task clone clones the task, in other words, once it copies and pastes it over to your digital task manager, task clone puts a little TC beside any cloned task, and it removes the task clone tag from the note. That lets you know that the task has been cloned, and it keeps task clone from cloning the same task over and over. I have been using this service since 2013, and you know it's worked like a charm. But surprise number two came when I started seeing the same task two or three times on my digital task list. So what's behind both of these surprises? Well, it's another automation. Evernote recently introduced real-time editing, allowing two or more people who are sharing a note to edit the note at the same time. Now, it turns out that when you open a note, it prevents anything else, any 
third party from adding to it. So if that note called Frank's Journal happened to be open on any device, it was preventing if this than that from adding anything to it. And to be honest, that note was open almost all of the time. One of the things that I had been doing was I used the note so often that when I would bring up Chrome, one of the Chrome tabs that would open by default would be Evernote opened to that particular note. So it's open all the time. So now if I added a note in Task Clone, Task Clone could clone the task, but it couldn't edit the task to add the TC and remove the tag. Hence, it would look at the same note again and again and copy and paste that same task again and again because it couldn't put the TC that would alert it not to clone that task that it had already happened. So the solution is simple. When I'm not actually working in that note called Frank's Journal, I need to close that note. When I add task to a note, as soon as I as soon as I add that task clone tag, I need to close the a couple of minutes. That time gives task clone the opportunity to clone the task, add the TC beside the check marks, and remove the task clone tag. If you're using these services, you may be experiencing the same problem. And if so, you now know the answer. And hey, if you're not using Evernote, task clone, and if this and that, then maybe you've heard something here today that will cause you to start. If you enjoyed this episode, there's plenty more on frankbuck.org. Join the email list for two free gifts and so that you'll never miss a thing. Thanks for stopping by. This has been Frank Buck, helping you get organized and make it look easy.